Welcome down onto the tech desk and in today's video we're going to be looking at this. This is the Cinco P1 microphone for your phone. I get asked a lot about what kit I use and generally when I'm in the studio I'm using the wireless go so I can move about and talk and at the same time but that's when it's connected to my camera. It does connect to the phone which I'll talk about in a second but I've been filming with my phone a lot more and the NT is okay but I need to kind of have this cable so you have to have this cable plugged into here and then it goes into NT and it's just faffing around like that. So I needed a better solution. And this is where this comes in. So this is the Cinco P1. Uh, they do two types. They do one specifically for iPhone and one with uh, USB type C. So for Android and for kind of like PCs and everything like that. Uh, this is the iPhone version, but it works exactly the same with which one you pick. So here it is then. This is the Cinco P1L digital 2.4 gigahertz, uh, one trigger, one mild microphone. So they do kind of different variations, but this is the ve very basic uh, microphone and uh, transmitter and receiver and the charging case. They do like double versions and they do different colors as well. You go and have a look in the website, you can see. In the box, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get your instruction manual. Then you're also gonna get two cables. You're gonna get a USB type C. It's quite a thin, cheap feeling USB type C cable. Um, I don't use this as I already have one to the side of me. And that's the one that I use, so I never use that one. And then you also get this. Uh, this is a USB type C to 3.5 millimeter. And I'll talk about that. So I'll leave that bit out. So I'll talk about what you're gonna need that for later. So in the box, this is the case that it comes in. It's a nice decent enough case so it's got some LEDs which I'll show about in there in a second. Uh, it's a Cinco P1. On the front here it has the pairing button which I've actually never used because it comes paired to the, the microphone itself. Uh, USB type C there. This is to charge this case. This case has an inbuilt battery which we'll talk about in a bit and then on the bottom there it has four rubber feet so when you've got it on there it kind of sticks to the desk a little bit. The construction is okay. It's mainly plastic. Uh, the only issue I have is when you open it up so you kind of push it in to unlock it and it opens up. The only issue I have is the sliding mechanism this feels a bit a bit cheap and a bit naff really that, but that, that's it really this is a phenomenal case simply because it has an inbuilt battery and this will charge your microphone and receiver as it is sat in there so if we pop these out what you do is you charge up by plugging the USB type C into there here we have USB type C if we plug that into there and you can see that's charging. The LEDs will go up to the top and it will tell you how far charged you are. So I'm pretty much, well, it's one, two, three, four, five, I'm pretty much there. I'm 80, more than 80% charged. And when you've charged this, you're gonna be able to get two lots of uses out of this. Okay, so you get two lots from charging this and you get the five hours from this. So you're gonna get five hours plus another five plus another five. So you're gonna get 15 hours worth of recording time out of one of these, which is brilliant. So if you're out and about, you're really just gonna be taking this case with you. So here is the, the transmitter and the receiver. And the first thing you'll notice is when you get them out is how light they are. They are super light if we get it weighed. So this is the transmitter, nine grams. This is the uh, receiver, six grams, nothing. Okay, so if you are concerned about weight, no issues with this. So let's talk about the receiver. So the receiver here, as I was saying, this was got the lightning for the iPhone on there. The other one will have USB Type-C on there. It's exactly the same. On there, the little three dots there, that's for the charging. When that goes into the case, you need to make sure that goes into the case in the proper way, just so it starts charging. And on here is USB Type-C. This is where this bit comes in. So this is where the USB Type-C, you plug that in there and then you get your headphones and you plug them into there and then you can hear yourself talking, okay? So you've got audio feedback on here so you can listen to yourself. This button on the top here serves as a couple of functions. Uh, the main one is it flicks between modes. So it has different voice modes, which we'll test about later. So you can change your voice on the fly and it will make your voice sound different if that's what you want to use. Um, I haven't particularly used any of the voice effects. I just kind of use it as standard straight into my phone. And then finally on the top here, we have all of these LEDs here. So when you plug it in, the LEDs light up just to show, and then it's flashing like that to show that it is connected. And they will continue flash, like they do flash on this one here on the transmitter. Um, you see it's flashing, it, it just flashes all the time. If you wanna get rid of the flashing, you just double tap that, and then it just turns into a flashing dot. So you can get rid of that big long flash if you want to, if that's not your thing. So moving from the receiver to the transmitter, 
The transmitter, very, again, it's got the three dots here with for the charging in there. It has a nice, decent clip on there. The microphone is located at the top there. Then we have the uh, LEDs that we've just talked about. And then on the top there, the red button here. This is for the pairing, which I've never had to do because it was already paired. And then it will also do the double tapping of uh, we're turning off the lights. But as you can see, it's flashing all of that. That means it's trying to look for something. So again, if we just quickly plug this back in there, there we go. So we know it's connected almost immediately. And if we want to get rid of that, like I said, I'll just double tap it and then we'll go back to just a single uh, LED. So physically, as a microphone, if you're going to be using it, very good because it is light as anything. You won't feel it. So when it's on your phone, it's nice and discreet. It's completely out of the way. Very usable, the phone with that on the bottom there. This is a decent mic. However, there is no wind protection on there. There's no wind up. We're going to do some sound tests later in the wind. So I would say this is better for studio or if you can, is going to be getting some sort of uh, kind of dead cat to sit on there somehow, but it doesn't come with one and it doesn't claim to be kind of like windproof, but you'll, you'll see that in the sound test later on. So as I said before, really easy to set it up. It's literally plug that in and you've immediately synced. So now I, every time I record, so if I hit the video on that, we're gonna be recording through this. So the rest of the video, I'm going to be using this and I will let you know if I ever do change to the NT, but generally we're gonna be coming at the sound out of here. So let me just click this onto my lapel. So there we go. So now the sound is clipped onto my lapel. I'd say it's probably around 20 centimeters or so from my mouth, just clipped onto my jumper there. I want to talk about some of the stats for it as well. So it works on 2.4 gigahertz. I will leave a load of the stats up here for you to read. Um, we did a lot of tests. We went outside and we did a lot of tests out in the open. So with the, like the wind test and a distance test as well to see how far away I could get it. But they say that you can go 150 meters um, line of sight, but 50 meters non line of sight. Um, with my testing, I actually found out I could go a lot further than that. So this is a test on just on the distance. I'm uh, just coming up to around 50 meters now. So I think I'm around 50 meters from about here. Can you still hear me? Okay, let's crack on. We're, we're around 100 meters now. And there we go. Can you still hear me with 100 meters line of sight? Coming up to 150 meters now. So we're about 140, 145. So we're around 150 meters here. Uh, I wonder if you can still hear me, a line of sight. Okay, I'm going to keep going. I'm now we're a little bit out of sight. I'm just going to walk another 50 metres or so, see how far we get. And I'm completely out of sight now. And um, we'll see if this works at 175 metres, no line of sight. <coughs> so here we are then, down by the coast. Um, I've got a clip to my lapel. I don't know how it sounds. It's relatively windy. So the wind is, I can definitely feel the wind. Just want to see how it sounds because there's obviously no uh, dead cat sound muff over the mic. It's literally just clipped to my lapel. Okay, let me know how it sounds. Now, literally straight after this is directly from the camera mic. Uh, again, exactly the same, windy with the camera in my hand and no Cinco mic, just the microphone from the camera. There we have the two tests then. Um, it's not great for wind, I'll be honest with you, it's gonna be more for a studio environment or if you can fudge some sort of dead cat onto it. Um, I think uh, there's a lot of background noise for it, but for a studio where there's no background noise or anything like that, I think this is great. I have got the window open over here and there are, is some traffic noise in the background, but I don't know if you can hear that at all. So I can hear a bit of traffic. I'm not sure if the microphone is picking it up at all. Now we're going to test the voice changing facility. Okay, so if I plug this in, I can now get, get it on my headphones and then I'll be able to hear myself. And then the way that you edit the, the voices is you just simply press that button on the top there. So if we, if we touch that, it's going to go to studio effect. So I don't know if my voice sounds any different, but that's the studio effect. And if I press it again, it's KTV effect. So that's obviously gonna sound a little bit echoey. This is voice amplification. So maybe my voice is being amplified using this effect. Electronic dance music, so EDM effect. This is the voice, the sound for this. Baby effect. So this is where it changes my voice's uh, voice to sound like a baby. Um, whether you'd want that in your videos, it's entirely up to you. 
male to female. So this is meant to be a voice changer that changes my voice to make it sound like um, a female. Uh, next press, this changes my voice to be from female to male or to make me sound even more male, apparently. And this is the monster effect. So the voice changer on this one really sound like a monster. And then back to original. Okay, so this is what it would sound like normally uh, without any kind of compression at all. So we have the voice changing then. So yeah, you might want to change your voice and do things like that. Um, for me, I've never used them. I just use it normally and then I'll use it in uh, post. I would edit in post. There we have it. That was my look at the Synco P1L. This is a fantastic microphone. Like I say, for me, it's going to be ideal. I'm not sure it's going to be use, much use out and about in the field because of the background noise and because of the wind. But like I say, and you might be able to fudge it with a dead cat or something. But for me, it's ideal and the battery life is superb. I'll leave links down below where you can get hold of this, but this is the mic that I will be using for my iPhone. Please do let me know what you think. Any comments down below, do stick your thumbs up, do like, and until the next video, bye-bye. Thank you.